Okay, in the last video, we learned how to create a question, uh, which put it into a quiz bank called Unfiled Questions. And then we were able to move that question uh, into a question bank that we created, and in that case called Illustration. There's another way that you can create um, quiz questions, except this time inside of the bank, and then move those quiz questions from the bank into the quiz. Okay, so we're going to do this opposite. We are going to create questions inside of a bank and then move them into the quiz instead of create questions in a quiz and move them into a bank. Uh, so we're going to start um, right here in this illustration bank. This is the bank that we had just created uh, a few minutes ago. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this bank called illustration. Uh, you can see that there is this one question in here that we created before. And notice over here on the right hand side, we have this um, button called add a question. So I'm going to go ahead and do that uh, just for the purposes of this question. And so that you guys can easily see the difference. I'm going to go ahead and change this question to a true false type of question. And I'm going to change the label here as well um, so that I can easily identify this as a true and false type of question. Uh, so just for the sake of illustration, um, I'm going to put there are four um, bounds to gain a first down in football. Okay, um, you can see I'm a football coach formerly, obviously, by these types of questions, right? In this case, this is obviously true. Uh, we're going to leave that as, as false as unchecked because that's an incorrect answer. I'm going to go ahead and update this question. Now you can see I have two questions, a multiple choice and a true false question inside of this question bank called illustration. Okay, so these are inside of my question bank. Okay, now if I go back to that illustration quiz, I can now add this additional question, this true false question from my question bank into that quiz and I'll show you how to do that. So I'm going to click on quizzes, which will give me the list of all of my quizzes and I need to go back to that quiz called illustration. That's right here. I'm going to go ahead and open that up. I have to select edit again. Okay. And now I'm going to come over here to questions and I want to add another question. Okay. In this case though, I'm going to hit the find questions. Notice it takes me to the different quiz banks that I have created. And here's one called illustration. So I'm going to go ahead and click there. And it shows me both of the questions that I have inside of the quiz bank called illustration. Okay, for the purposes of this, I want to choose the second question that I haven't already added. Okay, so I select that with a little check mark, hit add questions. And now I have both of those questions inside of my quiz. Okay, so that you can see here, these are the those questions. I have a multiple choice. I have a true false. Okay, I don't want to add any more questions at this point in time. If for some reason users has already taken this quiz, I can check this box, which would notify them that the quiz has changed. In this case, obviously nobody has taken the quiz. So if I hit save, now I've added two questions into my quiz called illustration. You can see now the point value has changed on that quiz. Those questions were ETH each worth one point apiece. So now I have a quiz with two questions, each with one point apiece for a total of two questions. It is a graded quiz um, and whatnot. And you can see the due date is still the same, March 15th. So now I have taken a question from my quiz bank that I created in my quiz bank and added it into a quiz.